So, in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing classification of functions in C. We have discussed the three classification. So, we are left with the one that is function with argument and with return type. So, this thing we will discuss in this video with a proper program. I will I am going to take the same program like sum of two number right and I will show you here then we will see practical and I will also tell you some important point about this classification. Those important point we will discuss when I will show you practical of this program right practically I will implement those points and uh, I will show you what output or what error or what warning you will get right. And I am taking the same example sum of two number that is very easy but why I am taking that same example because uh, using the same thing you will get you will also you know you will get the difference difference between these four classification very clearly otherwise you can take different example also and yeah you have to try different different programs also it is not like that just do sum of two number and that is it you have to try after that different different programs you have to try out you know different different functions like you can take a, a program to find factorial of a number using function right or number is prime or node or maximum among, among three number or uh, number is even or odd. So, try out different different programs at your own right. Then you will get these classifications better like the function declaration, function definition and function calling then you will get everything clear right. So, you have to practice more and more. So, now before proceeding just want to tell you one thing if you are preparing for gate or will be preparing for gate 2022 exam then an academy is going to conduct a combat it is like India's largest weekly competition for gate aspirants or you can say it is India's largest scholarship test for gate. It would be now on 12th of September. So, here you will get 20 question and the time limit would be 60 minutes. So, in this test you will get the challenging and original gate questions curated by the top ed gate educators at an academy. So, you can take it live also. So, better to take it live to compete with the best. So, here you can assess your performance in just 60 minutes by checking your ranking against others from all over India with a live uh, live leaderboard that shows real time ranking after every question so that you will get an idea where you are standing how your pre preparation is going on and if you take it live you will also get a chance to win some exciting prizes the detail you can see over here and one more thing after every contest you will get detailed video solution by their top educators so that you can analyze your weak area weak areas and you can improve those areas so that you get it right next time. And you can take this test for free. So, you just use my code JKL10 to enroll. The enrollment link I will put in the description box of this video. You just have to go to that enrollment link and just scroll down and pick up the test of your choice and just click enroll. That is it. So, the detail you will find in the description box of this video. So, now let us back to the topic. We will see the same example sum of two number. So, how to declare that function here? So, function will return something. Right. So, here first of all we, we return uh, we write the return type then function name then argument right. So, return means suppose I am I want to do sum of two number and I want to do like sum of two integer number. So, sum would also be an integer. So, what should be the return type of that function int it can be float or character according to your requirement right. Now, name is function name is sum and how many argument you want to pass? How, may, how much data you need for sum? I want sum of two numbers only. So, you need two variable right and one variable to store sum of those uh, you know uh, numbers. So, first we will pass two argument right. So, here just write down the data type of those variable right. Data type I want to do sum of two integer number int int that is what the declaration no need to specify the name of the vari uh, variable right here. So, now suppose in main function I am calling the sum sum and here you will pass some argument you can pass the static value 5 or 7 and you, or you can take from the user and you can pass those variables. So, here I am going to take from the user. So, I am going to take two variable x and y and from the user I will ask enter x and y values and whatever user we will enter that I want to pass right. So, address of x address of y. So, now while calling here you want you have to pass arguments. So, what argument I am going to pass x and y I want to do sum of x and y and semicolon but that is not it. Here we have to do something that I will show you. 
after defining this function and here I am defining this function. So data type is int name is sum and now in definition you have to write down the data type as well as the variable name. So variable name I am taking a and b no semicolon here. These variable name you can take same also x and y or here you can take a and b there would be no problem. But if you have started programming if you are learning better to use different different variable name just to you know differentiate that this is these are variables in main function these are variables of some function right. So now here also we need one more suppose uh, variable name c or we can take uh, variable name is sum that is also fine you can take sum it is not like that we have taken name of the function name sum so we cannot take variable name sum you can take here I am taking suppose s right and here do you need to ask from the user like enter to a number and you do you have to use like printf and scanf no why because here we have done that thing and the number on which you you want to perform addition that have been passed with this calling as an argument right here we have those number the values so no need to ask from the user right because we are taking those number as argument so now s is equal to a plus b directly you can do some processing the logic you can write and now what it will also return something so return s it is going to return what sum I want to that this function should return sum so now whenever this this function will return something so now where it will return here here because we are calling this function so it is going to return sum so we have to store that sum in some variable yes or no so here here what variable I am taking suppose I am taking here you can take s also same variable name fine that, that's fine but I am taking here c so I am using this but I have declared c here so better to declare the c here first before using otherwise it will give error right so here here now whatever the sum that has been stored in C so now where you are you are going to print the C because I have not printed the C here because here this function will return the value so we will not print that value here right so here in main function we are going to print so after this line you just write down a printf and sum is equal to percentage D and now sum is in sum is in what variable C. So C you can print semicolon after this line you will close this main right here we cannot do sum is equal to percentage D and S maybe you think that S is equal to A plus B so directly we can access S no because this S is what local variable to this function once control will go out of this function means this S the memory would be vanished that has been allocated to this S so we cannot use it like a b or s these are local variable to this function we cannot use these functions out of this function these variables out of this function right and this x y c these are local to main we cannot use these variables out of this main right so how this function would run see first of all control will go to main function now memory would be allocated to main function right and in main what we have three variable x y and c we have not initialized so they are having some garbage value now. So now enter x and y I am entering suppose 5 and 7 right now x value is 5 y value is 7 now control will go to this line now here the equal to is an operator and how this uh, equal to operator uh, you know uh, operate whatever write down on the right hand side that would be evaluated first and that value would be assigned to left hand side so this would be evaluated first this is what function call so now control will go to here the definition part of this function now match with declaration data type same name is same number of argument 2 fine and data type of those argument are int int here also int int matching so now some memory would be allocated to this some function also now in sum we have two variables see these variables are in the form of argument but these variables are local to the sum so we have a memory would be allocated to a and b and in a and b do you have some garbage value in this case no so what value we have in function calling what we are passing x and y 
So, whatever the value of x that that would be stored in a, whatever the value of y that would be stored in b. Now, in x we have 5 and in y we have 7. So, now we have the you know data on which you want to do sum that is why we have not declared any local variable and we have not asked from the user like enter two number and scan a printf and scan right because we already have those number. This function has accepted those number as argument from the main function from the calling function. Now, here we have s also in s we have 0 s is equal to a plus b now in s we have 12 return s. So, it would return 12. So, now control will go back to here. So, it would return 12. So, whatever the value that would be stored in C. So, now we can print C and 12 would be printed on the output screen right. Here if you if you do not want to do a like, like this. So, simply what you can do simply you can write return A plus B that is also fine if you do not want to take any variable right. So, here in this case we do not have any variable S it will return A plus B that is 12 it will return and you can print that 12 value right this is also fine. So, this is what we are calling this function by passing the values. So, this is what example of call by value we have already discussed like call by value and call by reference method. So, you can watch out that video in that C programming playlist the playlist link I will put in the description box of this video right. So, I think that is that is an example of uh, you know function which is accepting argument and returning something function with argument with return type return type may be float character int or maybe any pointer because if the, this, this function will return some address. So, the return type would be pointer right. So, now one assignment for you is you have to write down a function which will take two argument as input and you have to check like which number is maximum right. You have to should that function should fall in this category function with argument and with return type. So, you have to check maximum out of two number. So, how many argument you want to pass that would be one question. So, it depends on your requirement. If the question is sum of two number two argument if the question is maximum among three numbers three number three argument you, you will pass if you uh, if the question is find out factorial uh, factorial of a number means only one number you need. So, one argument you need to pass that is it that depends on the program according to your requirement right. So, now let me show you practical of this program. So, now let me create a file what is with argument and with return type right. So, see I am just going to copy this one the previous video in the previous video what we have discussed I think this is with argument and without return type. So, we are going to just modify this one. I am taking a name function and both variable I am taking int and int. You can take int float or float or float up to you right. Now, in main I am taking because I want two variable of integer type. So, enter x and y. So, here we will take percentage d and percentage d address of x address of y and sum is equal to x y. And now this this function is going to return something. Uh, in this case because in previous case it was not return anything. So, that is why data type is void. So, here I want that it should return sum that would be integer. So, return type should be integer. So, in definition also return type should be int and it is going to return the calling of it is going to return something. So, that we will store in suppose c c right and obviously in this we are going to print this c sum is equal to percentage d and uh, c you can print this. So, you have you are you are using the c in this main function and you have not declared this variable. So, better before using declare this here in main also right. Now, here c int and int declaration you have you have told the compiler that the argument should be of both argument should be of type int, but here in definition you are writing float. So, it will give error. So, here also it should be both the, 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 uh, the data type of these are uh, parameter should be intended. In definition th these a, r, b are a and b are parameters and these x and y are arguments. Arguments are also known as, known as actual parameter and parameters are known as formal parameter right. So, here si obviously, we are not going to print anything because I want that this function should return something. So, simply I am writing here return a plus b I am not going to take any third variable 
return a plus b right that is it. Now, let me run this and see what output you get here. First of all, it will ask enter x and y two values from the user. So, now enter x and y suppose I am entering 4 and 3. So, see sum is 7 these 4 and 3 would be passed this is called by value here now a is 4 and b is 3 right. If you want to check that what is value in a what is value in b. So, in this in, in the sum function you can print print f a is equal to percentage d and a you can print and using print f you can print b. So, you can check out the value also and it is not like that you have just pra practiced this program like sum of two numbers and that is it. We have we, we now we know the uh, function which will fold this category no you have to practice different different function try out different 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 program. So, that is it for this video in the next video we will see some uh, problems on functions. So, now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.